Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is uh, nine o'clock. It's time on a Wednesday. It's time for a hidden gems. Now, what is the hidden gem series? Well, the hidden gem series, very, very simply, is where I tell you about a trick or a routine or effect uh, that has come out from years and years and years ago. Um, that is just as good now as it was back in the day. Uh, and I think this is probably one of the most important videos on the channel. And the reason is we stand on the shoulders of giants. We really do. And a lot of people that are getting into magic, that are new into magic, they race to buy that latest and greatest trick. Whilst in reality, there's a million tricks that are just as good as anything that's coming out today. But people don't look at them and people don't think about them because they've not been talked about. Because the problem is the shelf life of a magic trick in this industry is very short and something that came out a year ago people won't even remember uh, especially new people getting into magic they won't know about it but there's so much you can learn from watching and learning from the classics of magic and not even the classics but the tricks that have just come out five ten years ago and today i want to talk to you about eight card brainwave and we're going to do something a little bit different on the um, on the hidden gems this week because we're going to do uh, a hidden gems on eight card brainwave, but one of my friends has recently bought it bang up to date, and that person is Chris Congreve. Now, I got to hang out recently in Paris with Chris. Both him and I were booked to perform and lecture at the Rendezvous Magic Convention in Paris and in France. And uh, he showed me while he was there a trick that he's got bought out, which you can get directly from Chris, and the only place to get it is Chris. And it's called EDCC by Chris Congreve, which stands for Everyday Carry Cards. Um, and it's literally what it says on the tin. Simply put, it's a handful of everyday items that a performer can carry, in fact, should be carrying with you every day, everywhere. And it's a fun routine built on a classic. Um, it's great, you know, really, really good. And you get multiple different ways of actually doing uh, uh, the routine, uh, some of which are a little bit more risque, while others are more family friendly. Um, and basically, it's eight card brainwave. That's what it is. This is eight card brainwave but it's eight card brainwave but up to date instead of using playing cards chris is actually using pictures of stuff that you would carry around with you and i i firmly believe that one of the best things that you can do as a magician is constantly try to look at the magic that you're doing and see how you can update it and that's how you take classics and make them more relevant uh for today's audiences and this is a perfect example eight card brainwave is a classic for a reason but if you take eight card brainwave and you make it about every stuff that you carry around with you in this example well it becomes even more relevant so if you haven't seen it i'm going to do a performance of this now to matt so you can have a look at it this is the everyday carry cards by chris congreve it's his version of the eight card brainwave the cards are beautifully produced and they look really really nice let's have a look at that and then when i've looked at it we'll bring it back and i'll talk to you about why this is so good i've got here uh some cards Mm -hmm. And there's eight cards, and on each one of them, there's a different thing that you would probably take out with you when you go out on a night out. Okay. So we've got money. I'm sure you agree with that. Lighter, yeah. because you smoke. Yeah. A mobile phone. Obviously. Now an Apple, because you've upgraded. <laughs> Keys, so you can get back into your house. Yeah. A watch, so you can tell the time. Pink fluffy handcuffs. Mad. Yeah. Of course, you never know when you need pink fluffy handcuffs. Yeah, exactly. You never a know. A credit card. Yeah. And um, a novelty condom. A novelty condom. Yeah, well, how many condoms have you seen with hands and a face? This is true. So, what I want you to do is pick what your favourite item is that you take out and about with you when you when you're out. Pink fluffy handcuffs. Because I think I know which one it is. Pink fluffy handcuffs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know it was pink fluffy handcuffs. <laughs> Genuinely, I made a prediction. It could have been anything, but you said pink. You can change your mind if you want to. You can go for the novelty condom. No, it's cool. Pink fluffy handcuffs. Pink fluffy handcuffs. I knew you'd pick pink fluffy handcuffs. Because you see, all of these cards here, they've all got red backs. Every single one of them has got a red back. But I knew that you would go for pink fluffy handcuffs, which is why that is the only one with a blue back. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew that you'd go for pink fluffy handcuffs. But if you weren't I think anyone go, that knows me would. But yeah, but if you weren't <laughs> going to go for pink fluffy handcuffs, which one would you go for? Uh, the phone. The phone, you go for the phone. Yeah. See, what I just showed you there was magic. It was mind reading. But this is magic because, you see, if you want phone, you can get phone. Because the weird thing is all of these um, are all blue backs, as you can see. But the only one that you picked is the phone, which is the only one with the red back, Matt. You see, it's whichever one you pick, that's the one that ends up being the only one. So, you see, it's not, it's not mind reading. It's magic, Matt. Wow. 
But to be honest, we all know what your favourite one is. It's the novelty condom. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to tell everyone on Magic TV it's a novelty condom, which is why all of these actually have a red back. Every single one of them has a red back, and the only one that doesn't have a red back is the, uh, the novelty condom, because I knew that you really would like the novelty condom. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> so Eight Card Brainwave is a classic for a reason, and one of the reasons is it's just so direct it makes a great opener somebody asked me a question on the q a about six months ago saying what's one of the best openers that you can do as a mentalist and i said uh, eight card brainwave and it's true eight card brainwave is one of the best openers because it's very direct it's very simple it's hey i've got eight cards pick one boom all of these have got a red back yours is the only one with the blue back but it's playing cards it's playing cards what chris has done is he's taken eight card brainwave done exactly the same trick but just done it with pictures. But it still makes a fantastic opening routine if you're gonna do a mentalism set, because it's a very direct, simple thing. You just literally say, pick a card, that one, boom. It's so simple, so direct, so powerful. And that's what we have here with everyday carry cards. It's simple, it's direct, it's powerful. If you've never done the eight card brainwave before, I encourage you to go try it out because I, I've spoken to magicians in the past and have said, oh, eight card brainwave, it's only eight choices. It's not that impressive. Yes, it is. It's really, really impressive. Now, you can just do it as one moment, as an impossible prediction, or you can do it the way I did it in the performance, where you're kind of like having it change over and over again, which is kind of more of a playful, fun way to do it. Now, either way you do it is fine, but one thing that I'll tell you is that the, the old ram subtlety that you use in eight card brainwave in order to affect the moment of magic, it does stand to be repeated, it really does. As you can see, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't think Matt had ever seen an all-round subtlety before, I don't think he'd ever seen this routine before, um, but it's the sort of trick that you can repeat over and over again and becomes more baffling each time, which is great, or you can do it as a single moment of magic. In the um, instructions with this, Chris has got some fantastic ideas. Um, and there's a few different ways that you can perform it. A couple of routines built in by Michael Murray and Mick Wilson. Um, and it's really nicely produced as well. So, yeah, I mean, slightly different um, Hidden Gems this week because I'm talking about uh, a kind of an updated version of Hidden Gem, uh, an updated version of the Eight Card Brainwave. But whether you perform the original Eight Card Brainwave or you go for Chris's new version of the Eight Card Brainwave, I highly suggest you look into performing it. It's one of those routines that packs small, plays big, takes no space in your pocket. And as I say, when it comes to openers for a mentalism set, this is one of the best that you can do. So there you go, guys. That's another Hidden Gems in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, you want to see more videos like this. All you've got to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow at... Uh uh, I'm going to be back again with another video very, very soon, probably six o'clock, nine o'clock. I've got videos coming up all of the time. So make sure that you go check out those videos. And don't forget, if you want to check out The Netrix, go to www.thenetrix.com. That's www.thenetrix.com. You can go see what all the fuss is about and get access immediately. Literally within two minutes of going on the website and signing up, you can get access to everything. New tricks are being up later, uploaded all of the time. Uh, and don't forget, if you're a silver member, this Saturday we've got the Masterclass by David Jonathan. I am so excited about that. You've got no idea. Anyway, I'm going to be back again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will see you again. My name's Craig from Magic TV.